Hello friends, this video on inverse trigonometric functions part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 14. Let's take one more example. So we have to again write in the form, simplest form, tan inverse 1 minus root x square minus. See, now we have to prove x is equal to something. A hint we can see that is x mod of x is greater than 1. So that means x is uh, either cosec or cos. Why? Because for cosec and cos only we generally have this range. So if you take cosec, this is cosec square minus x, that is cot square, this is cot x. 1 by cot x is equal to tan x. So you get tan tan form and you will be able to simplify it. If you take cos x, cos square x minus 1 with sine, 1 by sine is equal to cos sine, you won't be able to simplify. So let's better take x is equal to cos theta. See, understand this, this is the most critical part. x is equal to cos theta assumption is the most critical part here. Why we took this? Because the first thing it was mod x is greater than 1. This is generally for cosec or cos. So if you take cosec, this comes out to be tan. And tan inverse of tan, you get something. But if you take x equal to cos, this comes out to be uh, cosec. So tan inverse of cosec, again, it's difficult for us. We have to again uh, convert that into sine form and or tan form, it will be all the more complex. So just because the question is to simplify this, so we'll take x equal to cosec theta. So this will become tan square tan inverse of root of cos x square theta minus 1 correct and this becomes tan inverse of cos x square theta minus 1 is 1 by cot theta and this is nothing but tan inverse of tan theta tan inverse of tan theta is nothing but theta so if x equal to cosec theta, theta is cosec inverse of x. And that is a simplified form of tan inverse of 1 minus root x square minus 1. Why how we have done? We understood the question properly and then, then we found that x equal to cosec theta is the best replacement to convert this into simplest form. Let's take one more example. This is a little simple actually. So if you see one root of 1 minus cos x by 1 plus cos x, we convert this into tan form, our problem is solved. So if you see this, what we can do is 1 minus cos x is 2 sine square x by 2. This we know. And 1 plus cos x is nothing but 2 cos square x by 2. This also we know. Correct. So if this becomes the, sorry, everything is in root. This is everything in the root. This is this two root is not there actually. So there is no there. And so we're having a bigger root here. So this becomes tan inverse two to cancel sine square x by two cos square x by two root. That is tan square x by two root. That is tan x by two. Tan inverse tan x by two. That is x by two. Very simple question. Just because 1 minus cos x by 1 plus cos x, this we have to write in the form of tan. So 1 minus cos x we know is, is 2 sine square x by 2. We can prove this. 1 minus cos x is nothing but 1 minus cos x by 2 plus x by 2. That is nothing but 1 minus. This is cos square x by 2 minus sine square x by 2. So this becomes 1 minus cos square x by 2 plus sine square x by 2. And this becomes sine square x by 2 plus sine square x by 2. And that is nothing but 2 sine square x by 2. So really for plus, when you say plus, this becomes actually cos squared. We'll take one more example. 
tan inverse cos x minus sin x by cos x plus sin x. Here also we will just convert this into tan form. So let's do that. Divide this by cos 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 cos. So it becomes one minus tan by one plus tan. So this becomes cos x minus sin x by cos x divided by cos x plus sin x by cos x. What I'm doing here is divided both by cos x. So this becomes tan inverse 1 minus tan x by 1 plus tan x. You see this is nothing but a formula. If you see, we have this formula tan inverse of x minus y by 1 minus xy sorry 1 plus x by x this is nothing but tan inverse of x minus tan inverse of y so this formula is similar to this the only thing is instead of x we have 1 and instead of y we have tan x almost same formula so this formula you can write as a thing what tan inverse 1 minus tan inverse tan x. Understand what we have done. Tan inverse 1 minus tan x by 1 plus tan x. If you compare this with this formula, tan inverse x minus pi by 1 plus x y and this whole formula, x is nothing but 1 here and y is nothing but tan x. So we got this as tan inverse 1 minus tan inverse tan x and tan inverse 1 is nothing but pi by 4 and tan inverse tan x is nothing but x. So we got pi by 4 minus x. This is the simplified version of the big formula tan inverse cos x minus sin x by cos x plus x. That is pi by 4 minus x. Let's take one more example tan inverse of x by root a square minus x square. So here also we have to simplify it. So what we have to prove? We have to put x is equal to something. This, if you see right, x is less than equal to a. This will give you some problem. See, x is less than equal to a. That means x is nothing but either a cos theta or a sin theta. Why? Because a cos theta mod is less than a because cos theta mod is less than 1. And sine theta mod is also less than that. So that means either two of the possible options. Correct? From this we got. Now if I put uh, x is equal to a cos theta, this becomes a cos theta and this becomes a square minus a square cos theta to a sine theta. This becomes cot theta actually, which we don't want. We want this to be in the form of tan. Correct? So if you put a sin theta, we will get sin theta here and here we will also get 1 minus sin square is cos, sin by cos is tan. So we will get tan. So we will use this. So we will say x is equal to a sin theta. So what we will get here or we will get theta is nothing but sin inverse x by so let's put x equal to a sin theta in this so this becomes tan inverse of a sin theta by root of a square minus a square sin square theta so this becomes tan inverse of a sin theta by 1 minus sin square theta cos square theta so it's become a cos theta. a square minus a square sin theta becomes a root of that becomes a cos theta. a cancel sin theta by cos theta that is tan inverse of tan theta the form which we really wanted and this is nothing but theta and theta is nothing but sin inverse x by a. So this is my simplified form of tan inverse x by root a square minus and that is sin inverse x by
Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.